Well, it looks like we're in it. <sighs> Gee, I wish I could go. Go where? Why, to war. Well, why can't you go? There you are. I knew you'd take that selfish viewpoint. Why, I'd go in a minute if it wasn't for my flat feet. Uh. Old timer. Can't use you. Hey, Jim, a couple of good prospects up here. Be nonchalant. Here it comes. Good morning, Captain General. Well, how about it? How about what? You know what I mean. How about getting into one of these uniforms? I'm awfully sorry, but we're incapacitated. Incapacitated? Yes, sir. There's been a lot of it going around lately. Just as I expected. A couple of crummy, no good slackers. Talking like that. Why, you should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of what? Oh, I'm sorry. You ought to be. Oh, come on. No hard feelings. Here, get yourself a cup of coffee. Thank you. It's a fine looking outfit you are. Look at yourself! Attention! <laughs> now listen, we're going to try this once more. And when I say halt, I mean halt! And halt means to stop. Attention! Squad right! March! Halt! Oh. 
Splendid. Thank you, sir. Why don't you have us do like that? Fall in! Fall in! You lunkhead! I never saw such half-witted mugs in all my life! Now, you mug, I'm going to give you one more chance. And if you don't get it right this time, you're going to get kitchen police from now on. When he says turn to the right, go that way. Follow me. Squad's left. March. you'd done as a sergeant told you, we wouldn't have to be doing this. Well, I knew what to do. Well, why didn't you do it? Well, I, I just couldn't think of it. Couldn't think of it. Hey, hurry up and get back here with those cans. Say, what do we do with this stuff? Are you trying to kid somebody? What do you suppose you do with it? Take to the general. Now, what do you suppose the general wants with this? There you go asking questions oh. again. Why don't you try doing as you're told once? Don't you know that you've got to follow the curriculum of the army with discipline? Come on. If the general wants it, he can have it. Are you the general? No. Is he home? Yes. What do you want? I got that stuff for him. What's that? Oh, Rogers? Yes, sir. Come, come. Yeah, you better bring it in. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I've got a coat in my dose. Hmm. Uh, no grapefruit this morning, Rogers. No, sir. Oh, look who's here. I 
Hey! <laughs> ah, the baby. Did you love me? Yeah, the baby. Sure you do. <laughs> What's the matter? Couldn't the wife come down? Is there anything I can do? No, I guess not. Poor oh, baby. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking about. Poor kid. Gee, it'd be a cinch if I could only take her to the folks. Can't you? No. Mm -hmm. We had a fuss when I got married, so, so that's out. Oh. Well, we'll get along all right, won't we, honey? I'll be up the house Friday. We'll talk about it then. Goodbye, honey. See you Friday. Hey, Eddie. We can't come Friday. Let me tell you something. Someday I'm gonna catch up with you guys again. And when I do, I'm gonna have my knife. And when I got my knife, you better never let me find you in the same state. You get me? Will you keep off of me? See what that is.
Don't you think it's about time that we had some fresh water? That isn't water. That's coffee. Well, pour it out and get some clean water. Not there. Outside. Coffee. Mm -hmm. Can't you guys lay off for just a little while? What's the matter with him? Oh, I don't know. Ever since he got the letter about the baby, he hasn't been the same. What's the matter? Some trouble? Something happened to the old woman, and the kid's been left with strangers. Why don't he send it to his folks? That gives me an idea. Come here. Where are you going? No place. Come here. Oh. We'll write a letter to his father to go and get the baby. How are you going to get the address? We'll use tact. Come on, Ben. Ben, come on. Get up. You're doing both. Come on. Step out of it. Okay. Oh. Hi. Have a good sleep? Yeah, swell. Say, Eddie, where's the baby living now? What do you want to know for? Well, getting close to Christmas, and we thought maybe we'd like to send it a little Christmas present. Oh, gee. That's darn nice of you guys. How about giving us the address? <laughs> yeah, you'll need that, won't you? There it is, on the back of that. Copy it off, give it back to me, will you? Uh, Eddie, there's another little item. Uh, what is the address of your father and mother? What? Oh. What do you want to do, send them a Christmas present, too? And how? Yeah. <laughs> I'm way ahead of you. And that's out. Hey, buddy, take your hole. About time you're getting here. I knew your idea was all wet. Smith? Yeah? Okay. Hold it, still! It's me! Hold it! Going on. Been a raid. Did they get anybody, Sergeant? Yeah, they got Smith out of here. They got Eddie. Send over a raiding party right away and get a prisoner. Yes, sir. Well, who wants to go? I'll take a chance, Sergeant. Never mind. Congratulations, boys. That's the spirit. Come on, get going. That's the... Come on, let's Wait a go. minute, I... Come on, never mind. You don't let's do go. me a chance, do Come on, get on. Come on, you two. Come on, let's go. Get out of here. Come on, get on. That's the stuff. And don't come back without a prisoner. Patrol, get two replacements. I think we'll need them. Hey, Sergeant. Let's get in 
coming here. We'll be out of danger. Her name was Cinderella. And she had a stepfather and two ugly sisters. Oh dear, I don't know the rest. So you'll have to go to bed now. And I'll tell you it tomorrow. When is he coming home? How should I know? Now stay in the other room and don't bother me. Run along now. Get this brat out of here so I can sleep. So you can sleep. Too bad you're so tired that you can't watch her for a couple of minutes. Shut up. No, I won't shut up. Shut up. If it wasn't for this money you get for that kid every month, you'd starve to death, you big loafer. So you're starting that again, are you? Yes, and I'm not finishing. You ain't. I've got to do everything around here. I'm going to finish it this time for you. Get in that kid. Come on. Eddie Smith's baby? Yeah, what about it? Oh, come here, my goodness. <laughs> Just like Eddie. Yeah. Hey, hey, what's the big idea? Well, we've come to take her away. Yeah, well, who are you? Why, I'm Mr. Hardy, and this is my friend, Mr. Laurel. Who gave you authority to take her? Well, we are friends of her father. Yeah? Well, I don't know you two mugs. And you ain't gonna take the kid out of the house. See? 
Well, what are you going to do about it? What am I going to do about it? Yeah. Ooh. Do that again. Mm. Sit there, honey. Now what are we going to do? All we've got to do is find Mr. Smith. You don't know where he lives. Well, you leave that to me. It's the simplest thing in the world. Come on. Come on. Pardon me, officer. Yes. Could you happen to tell us where Mr. Smith lives? Smith? Yes, sir. Smith, Smith. Let me think. What Smith? Eddie's father. Eddie who? Why, the father of this child. <laughs> What's his name? Who? Why, the father of this child. That's who you're looking for, isn't it? Oh, no. No, sir. No? The man we're looking for is the father of the father of this child. Oh, now I understand you. <laughs> it's the grandfather that's lost. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. no, sir. No, he's, no. Not, he's not lost. No? Well, no, then sir. what are you looking for him for? We're not looking for him. We're just trying to find him. Yes. Uh, look, you, you see, he doesn't know about the baby. Oh, he does. No, no you see, we were in France together. Yeah, his I, uh, father all right, him. yes, yes. And wait, he... wait, just a minute, boy. Just a minute. Now, relax, will you please? Relax. Come here, darling. Now, sweetheart, maybe you can tell me who these gentlemen are looking for. Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Well, isn't that fine? <laughs> now, honey, where does he live? Who? Yeah. <laughs> there. <laughs> if you boys get yourself a city directory, you'll save yourself a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> Come on. What did you want to stop him for in the first place? Is this the place? Five, four, three. Is Mr. Smith home? I'm Mr. Smith. Are you Eddie's father? Eddie, who? That's all right. We won't go into that. Thank you. We've made a little mistake. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. All right. Come, sweetheart. Is Mr. Smith in? Yeah. Hey, steamboat. Somebody wants to see you. Okay. 
Are you Mr. Smith? Yeah, what of it? This is your son's baby. My son's baby? Yes, sir. Ah, blackmailers, huh? What's the next address? 311 Chester Drive. Come on. Oh, what a handsome bridegroom. Who does change his proper place? Well, I can't help it, Papa. I feel all kind of funny. Well, how's the bridegroom holding up? A little weak, but I guess we'll get in there. <laughs> Eddie, I'm very proud to welcome you into my family. And I know that you and my daughter are going to be very happy. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hathaway. The bride is ready, sir. All right, shall we go? Yeah, well, now, don't be nervous. Come on, my boy. <laughs> right, go ahead. Telegraph from Mr. Smith. Smith? Smith hasn't lived here in four years. Would you tell me where he moved to? Haven't the least idea. Okay, thanks. Is this 311 Chester Drive? Yes. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Wait a minute. I'll do this. You've gotten us into enough trouble. <laughs> We'd like to see the master of the house. Well, he's very busy and can't see you. He'll see us. Tell him we've got Eddie's baby. Yes, sir. Eddie's baby? Yes, sir. Oh, oh. Don't go away. Uh, please wait just a moment. Just a moment. We are gathered, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. We are, we are gathered. What's this I hear? Are you the master of the house? I am. We brought you Eddie's baby. Eddie's baby? Yes, sir. This is unbelievable. I knew you'd be surprised. Eddie didn't want us to bring her. Naturally, he wouldn't. Uh, come with me, my dear. Come with me. Don't go away. Don't go away. Don't. Get out of my way. Yes, sir. Gather. Gather. Come! Who's 
says that I'm the father of that child. Yes, who says so? Oh, plain innocent, are you? Hawkins, bring those two men in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Will you come right in, sir? Come right in, please. Yes, sir. Here they are, sir. Now, is this or is this not Eddie's baby? It certainly is. <gasps> Deny that if you can. It's a lie. You blackguard. You bluebeard. Oh, now, Pop, it's I'll a frame up. You. Now, Pop, I'll... now, Mrs. Pop. Oh, how can I ever thank you? <laughs> you have saved the family's name. No, Papa! No, Papa! No, stop him! Oh, Papa, let me explain! Wait a minute! Wait a minute, Papa! What seems to be the trouble, Mr. Smith? Why, those people are... Smith! Yes, sir. Did you call me Mr. Smith? Yes, sir. Parkins. My Winchester. Yes, sir. My name is not Smith. It's Hathaway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid we've made a little faux pas. I'm afraid that you have. I'm sorry if we've caused you any inconvenience. It's quite all right. I do. address is 49 Colebrook Avenue. It's just around. From now on, we'll telephone. Come on. Oh. I'm awfully sorry. I must have called up 10,000 Smiths. Where's Uncle Stan? Well, Uncle Stan left town early this morning. What for? Why, he's going to find your grandparents. I hope he doesn't find them. Now, you go ahead and play because Uncle Ollie's got a lot of work to do. Not a bit. Where'd you go? Huh? Where'd you go? I went all the way to Poughkeepsie. And that ain't them. Do you mean to tell me that you went all the way down there to see these two? Well, I thought it might be them. 
Wasting your time like that while I'm here slaving all day. Why don't you do something to help me? What can I do? Well, you can take care of the baby a while. I've got my ironing to do. The Smith brothers. Oh! Mm. Get up from there and put that baby to bed. What are you trying to do?
And you are positive they still have the child in their possession? Yeah. And you'll find them running that lunch wagon at the corner of 2nd Avenue and 16th Street. Mm. Thank you very much for your information. I'll take care of it immediately. and see your uncles before we went for a walk. That's fine. Yes. Yes. You take good care of her, Mrs. McTavish. Don't you worry. I'll take good care of her as though she were my own lassie. Uh, have a nice oh, time. Well, Wait a minute. I've got something for you. Now, you guess which hand it's in, and I'll give it to you. <laughs> you. You're welcome. Oh. Bye. Get off. Bye, Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye, darling. Oh, good morning, sir. What can I do for you? I want some information. Yes, sir. We have some hamburgers, frankfurters, chocolate oh, cake. No, oh, no, no, no. That is not the information that I desire. It has come to my attention that you two men have in your possession a child to which you have no legal right. What's it to you? As an officer in the East Side Welfare Association, I intend to place that child in an orphanage where she belongs. Over our dead body, you'll put her in an orphanage. You mean you refuse to give her up? We certainly do. Hmm. Very well, then. I'll swear out a warrant for your arrest. And I'll have that child in the orphanage tonight. Hey. How much will you charge me to haunt a house? <laughs> Say, he can't do that, can he? You heard what he said, didn't you? We better get that kid and move to another street so they can't find us. Move to another street? We've got to raise some money and get to another state. I wish we hadn't bought the wagon. It's a good thing we've got the wagon. Drive me to the First National Bank. What for? We'll refinance our business. Well, what are we going to do with the wagon? What are we going to do with the wagon? Drive me to the bank and don't ask any more questions. I'll pack up on the way. And listen, don't hit anything. Cigars. We've got to do this thing right. Fix your tie. You look terrible. Now, come on. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Are you the president? No. What is your business? Well, our business is with the president. Have you an appointment? No. I'm sorry, but you can't see him. What do you mean, we can't see him? I said you can't see him. We can but see him if we want just to. Just a moment. I'll take care of this. Just because you're not the president, you can't talk to I him. I said like you, you can't, can't see him. Just, just a minute. Just a minute, Saunders. Don't you think you're exceeding your authority? 
My office is open to the public at all times. Gentlemen, step this way, please. Come right in, gentlemen. Have a cigar. Thank you. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Just a slight mistake. Have a cigar. That's quite all right. Now, uh, to get on to business. Yes, sir. Uh... Pardon me just a moment. Give me another weenie. Now then, gentlemen. What can I do for you? Why, we'd like to negotiate a little loan. Hmm. Have you any collateral? Why, I'm sorry, we haven't any collateral. We figured to put up our business as security. <laughs> uh, what is your business? We're in the restaurant business. Here in town? Oh, all over town. Here, there, and thither. <laughs> hmm. Chain business. No, restaurant. You'll have to pardon my friend. He's not very familiar with these big business deals. Oh, well, that's quite all right. <laughs> what is the name of your firm? Laurel and Hardy, caterers to the elite. <laughs> well, how much do you require? I think a couple of thousand dollars would tide us over. Well, I don't think we'll have any difficulty about this, gentlemen. If you, uh... Give me a little time on it. I'll have our appraiser drop in and see you tomorrow. We can't wait till tomorrow. And is that part of your business? Part of it? That's all of it. All of it? Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 now that that's all settled, could we have the money right away? Why, to lend you $2,000 on a business like that, I'd have to be unconscious. <laughs> Look, he's unconscious. Good thing you stopped. I've been chasing you for three blocks. Here, you drop this up there. What's the matter with him? Why, it's a sudden shock, officer. This is his life savings. You better put it in the bank where it's safe. Yes, sir, we will. Thank you very much. Goodbye, sir. I just heard a rumor that your house is on fire. Oh, uh, you better get over there quick. What house? Oh, I just told her that to get rid of her. Oh, come on, get that truck out of there. Get packed. We've got to get out of here. Come on, sweetheart. Now you stay right there. <laughs> Oh, 
I've got to hide. Ooh. Right there, now. Stay covered and don't move. What are you trying to do? I got locked in. Well, why didn't you tell me it was you? Well, it was so dark, I didn't think you'd hear me. I'm scared. Oh. Come on and get that trunk packed. Don't you know they're coming? That thing packed. We've got to get this baby. I beg your pardon. But can you tell me where those two men live that ran that lunch counter across the street? Yeah, over there in the brownstone. Upstairs. Oh, they, they, What's the matter? Look, they're coming. Come on, we've got to get her out of here. Get Dagger. Let's hide her up the chimney. Oh, we can't do that. Put her over there. Oh, now let's hide her somewhere. Yeah, let's get... Wait a minute. You get out of there. I have it. Put her in the dumb waiter while I get things cleaned up. Stay nonchalant. Good afternoon. Yeah, getting ready to leave, eh? I guess we're just in time. Where's that baby? What baby? Search the place. Get off. Come out of there. That's no place for you to flame. Go and sit over there while I get through. Try the kitchen. Watch that door. Ooh. Get away. Get The game is up. I thought you'd come to your senses. Where is she? Up on the roof. Get that ladder. Here they are. Now, don't get excited, dear. Is this the pair, sir? Yes, that's them. 
Did you get the money? boy with you, Eddie Smith? Sure. Oh, well, Mother. Yes, dear. Mother, look here. My boy. Yes. Why? Why? Are you Eddie's father? Yes. Well, can you beat that? You know, we've been looking for you for months, Mr. Smith. You have? Yeah. That's Eddie's baby. What? Why? Oh, Mommy, dear. Oh, oh. <laughs> Eddie's baby. Oh. Oh, officer, release these gentlemen. Dinner is safe, sir. Arrange for three more, Meadows. Very good, sir. Gee, we had a lot of trouble finding you, Mr. Smith. Well, boys, you can pack up your troubles from now on. See, ain't that great? No more trouble. No more trouble. What, 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 whatever's the matter, Pierre? Listen, you. If you want company for dinner, you can come out and cook it yourself. Well, I... Uh... Well, if it ain't the snitchers. <laughs> and I've got my nut nut. Oh, 